Yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your girl, Dotty Query Girl, Acheru, your only Query Girl living in London, and you can argue with yourself. Why am I here today? Kevin Samuel! Samuel! <laughs> you know my problem with this life here. You got so many men telling women how to live their life, how to get high value men, how to be a high value women, how to know if he loves you, and this and that. Do you know what you men should be doing, right? Be telling yourself how to be a good man. You're a man. You you understand how men work. Do that. There's too many men telling women what to do. Now look at Kevin Samuels. You understand? He gay. Now my see, don't get me wrong. I have no issues that he's gay, but I like people to be straightforward. If you're not straightforward, how do we take seriously anything you said? If you're gay, you're gay. It's not a big deal. It's not. I mean, that's who you are. That's your preference. Why keep it? Why make it look like? I don't know why it's a big deal. If you are, you are. It's not a big deal. But man, after the whole Derek Jackson thing, I don't know if we've recovered. The next person you know, Ace Metaphor. I've got eyes on you, bro. I mean, I'm not saying that he's doing anything wrong, but it looks like the universe is spinning around and it's just exposing people left, right, and center. But what do I know? Check out Kevin Samuel and let me know your thoughts as usual. On the whole gay rumor thing. And there was a video where you were online and it, it somehow kind of cut to a scene of a man. There was a man sleeping in bed and then it cut back. And I don't know, it, it just doesn't really make sense to me at all. So maybe you could explain that video and kind well, of clear it all up. Okay. Uh, well, before I do that, I'm going to just say, I, I said this the other day. And what, what problem do these people have with, with somebody being gay? I mean, I, I've said it last night, the LGBTQ community, y'all are on the clock because the, the sheer amount of gay bashing, gay innuendos, gay slurs, hate speech against gays, why is that allowed to persist? Why is that allowed to persist against me? It, if you want to say that I'm gay, then is, 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 that, is, that not, is that not out of bounds? Is that not a protected group? So... The people who keep saying these things, I'm asking where's the LGBTQ community in this in this in this whole thing? Or is it okay when it's a heterosexual man and it's being used as a gay slur? So you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. So you're gonna have to pick. So by them writing that article, by them doing all this other kind of stuff, they've inject they they've injected something else. They did the same thing to Kwame Brown today, yesterday. Kwame mm -hmm. Brown was liked by certain people, but then all of a sudden something didn't happen the way they wanted to, and all of a sudden started throwing gay stuff at him. This happens too often to black men. The destruction of the black male image because you're saying something that they don't like. We're going to we're going to we're going to minimize you. We're going to disparage you. We're going to discredit you. We're going to try to humiliate you, and we're going to try to humiliate you by calling you gay. I've addressed this countless times. But then you can have a show where I have a Zoom line where you can click on Zoom. And if you've ever been on a Zoom call, when someone pops up, their photo is there. And people can switch their photos and things like that. But I also use another software to where uh, it's, uh, their, their photo comes up and they're in a green room. Their photo, like what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at is kind of grayed out. And if you're running a show, if you click the wrong button, um, something can come up. That person's photo can be there. That person's picture can be there. That was a person that was in a call queue. Now, was that the actual person who had fallen asleep? I don't know. Was that a photo that that person put up? I don't know. But I talked about this thing in show, real time. That person had gone from trolling me on one platform to where a woman was even like, who is that person? I was like, you gotta, don't worry about him. He calls all the time. I announced that. It's still up now. And she's like, well, I didn't know what to do. I was like, just don't pay me any attention. And I talked about it. Then as I get on to the next part, this person comes up and I'm like, oh, this person's back again. And when I clicked it off, I didn't think nothing of it. I wake up and it's everywhere. It's purposely, deliberately taken out of context to perpetuate a narrative, to smear a black man with being gay. So what I'm gonna say is this, is where's the LGBT community in this? Because it's, it's up there for anybody who wants to see it. And is it, are we actually saying that if, if I were, and if people, the funny thing is, Vlad, if people really thought I was gay, they wouldn't be coming at me like this. 
because they'd have to deal with that very LGBT community. They'd have to deal with that community. So by the fact that they're coming after me this way, they know they don't think that. But you can't play both ways. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've had gay rumors. <laughs> I mean, I almost feel like that's a sign of making it. Like, you haven't really made it unless someone comes out and claims that you're gay. Well. It just is what it is. But, you know, it's it's one, I mean, and like I said, in this whole cancel culture, you know, people are having to go back to apologize for tweets they made 12 years ago when it was okay to even say something like this on South Park or a movie or this and that. When you actually have people with platforms media outlets, blog sites, running with a, a story like this. This was mentioned on, on a popular morning show. Who heard him? Does he like men or like women? Like, so we play like this with people's brand and, 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 and sexuality for what? All this, all of this because I'm saying truths that men agree with. And you may not like my point of view, but to sit there and, and and do the very thing you're saying that I should not do is hypocritical. From me to you, Dotty Greg Lachiro. Catch you soon. Yo, it's your girl Diga reporting all the way from Facebook jail. I'm a ninja. 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 I'm a ninja.